People from all over the country had enjoyed themselves on the Carnival cruise ship based here in Charleston. But when they got back from that trip, they found this mess that you see right here. Now, dozens of cars, dozens of cruise passengers returned to those parked cars on Monday after that devastating coastal storm that we had here in the low country on Sunday. And that storm damaged some of their cars beyond repair. Live Five's Emily Johnson joining us now live from the Carnival cruise parking lot after talking with one of those couple and Emily, they say this situation has really made their trip home very stressful. Yes, and well, just imagine yourself. You're returning from a trip waiting to get home and on upon arrival to this parking lot, you realize that your car is damaged after inches and maybe feet of water have soaked into that engine, totaling your vehicle. That's exactly what happened to passengers from North and South Carolina, Virginia and Tennessee. say that the entire trip was filled with rough seas from the storm, making them excited to be back on dry land. When getting back to the Carnival parking lot on Monday, they faced a situation they say was unlike anything they had ever seen before. Dozens of passengers' cars were completely totaled from inches of salt water getting inside of their cars, stranding the Royals for hours with little to no answers. I, I guess the hardest thing was the shock, you know, because the uh, Carnival or the Port Authority did not inform us about the flooding that occurred there at the port. And um, so when we got there to the car and found out that the car wouldn't start and, and all these hoods were are, are up and and then, then we found out that it said it had flooded. The Royals say that they had to spend hundreds of dollars to get back, but they say that wasn't even the hardest part of their journey. Hear more about that and what questions they want answered tonight at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News. All right, Emily, thank you. Now, Carnival Cruises did respond to our story, saying in part, we suggest you contact the parking authorities. We assisted in some ways where we could, for instance, with helping guests connect with their insurance providers, but ultimately, this was not our facility. Now, South Carolina Port says its team worked closely with those passengers to provide assistance from the moment they arrived until the last passenger left. Every passenger was given the reports needed for their insurance company, and no one was charged for additional days.